Why are you so late today, beta? Extra classes? No, ma. There was a blood cancer awareness drive happening at college today. So I thought I'd check that out. I was so surprised to learn how little we know about this type of cancer. Did you know that in India, someone is diagnosed with blood cancer or other blood disorders every 5 minutes? Every 5 minutes? That's terrible. I had no idea either. Exactly. This news has made me think about the millions who still suffer. I want to contribute. So I plan to register as a blood stem cell donor while I'm young and healthy. Stem cell donor? Where did you even hear of such a thing? Who knows if it's safe or not? You will do no such thing. Ma, yes, it's safe. At today's awareness drive, we learned that all you need to do is submit a cheek swab sample to determine your HLA characteristics. After that, you're a registered donor. Besides, even if I register, it's uncertain when or if my HLA will match a patient. HLA? What is that now? Ma, human leukocyte antigens or HLA in short are proteins or markers used by your body to distinguish cells that belong to the body from those that do not. So basically, HLA protects our body and immune system from foreign objects or cells that could potentially cause harm. So suppose a patient's HLA does not match with the donors, then the patient's body will automatically reject the transplant. So your HLA type is like your blood type then? You are on the right track, but they are definitely not the same. See ma, while there are 8 common blood types in the world and probably millions of people who belong to the same blood type as you, finding someone whose HLA matches with yours is like finding a needle in a haystack. Although HLA types are inherited from the parents, according to studies, only 30% of people find an HLA match within their own family. It could be years before a patient finds a donor whose HLA matches with theirs. So, how does one know about their HLA type then? So ma, every person has HLA markers in the cells in their bodies and many of them. Based on these markers, every person belongs to a different HLA type. You can get to know if your HLA matches with a patient's through a process known as HLA typing. HLA typing is a test that determines the likelihood of a successful transplant. In this procedure known as tissue typing, the tissues of a prospective donor and the recipient are tested for compatibility before transplantation. If the donor and patient's tissues are mismatched, this could lead to the rejection of the tissues by the patient's body. But beta, what I still don't understand is why must you go out of your way for someone else? There will be hundreds of others who are registering as donors. Ma, when you go shopping for a sari, wouldn't you prefer a store with a larger collection? Why is that? Because a larger collection means it could be easier for me to find a sari more to my liking. Exactly, Ma. Similarly, the chances of a patient finding a donor whose HLA matches theirs will be far greater when there are more registered donors. Besides, several studies have proven that factors such as ethnicity have a role to play in HLA matching. So considering India, for example, the more number of people that register as a donor, the better. Because even if a patient fails to find a match within their own family, there is a great possibility that someone from a shared genetic heritage will be a match for them. If my donation can save a person's life, even if it's one in a million chance, why wouldn't I want to help them, ma? You are right, beta. I just don't want anything wrong to happen to you. You know that, right? I know, Ma. Trust me, it's an absolutely safe and simple process to register as a donor. A few of my friends have already registered through the DKMS website. 